Hello, my name is Seth Persigal, and I'm going to be doing a short walkthrough of the ZoneMinder computer security system. ZoneMinder is a software application that runs on Linux machines and is used as a security surveillance system. Uh, if you've ever been to a retail store, like I'm sure all of you have, uh, you'll notice the little black circles on the ceiling that have cameras in them. All of those things go into a multi video recorder system that takes all the different video feeds and saves them for later playback. You know, if someone's caught stealing something, they can go back and have video evidence of it. This is a similar thing, only built on free and open source software and runs on a Linux platform. So here's a little, interf a little tour of the visual interface. Okay. So over on the left, once you log in, is a view of all the different camera feeds that are installed on the system. What their current function is, I currently have all of mine except the one in my room set to motion detect. You can do other things such as monitoring or constantly record but trigger an alarm if motion is detected. You can have both cameras locally attached as these first four are, or the newer uh, internet protocol cameras that plug into the network just like a normal computer would. It tells you all the total motion detected events in the events column and it also breaks it down into how many you've, how many motions have been detected per hour, day, week, and month. And then all of all time. You can also archive video files if you don't want to watch if you don't want them in your main queue anymore. Up top you have a cycle and montage view. The cycle is what you're probably used to seeing and it just shows a one view at a time or one camera feed at a time and rotates through them every 10 seconds. You also have a montage view which shows you all the different camera feeds at once. I currently have seven cameras installed uh, because it's late at night, I'm the only one who has my lights on, so that's what you can see. But if you notice, this is a relatively small image view. You can close it out and click on whichever camera you want to see and pop it up in its full resolution. Now because this is an uh, IP camera and newer, you get uh, a much larger field of view. It's actually four times the resolution. This one is currently 640 by 480. And right here is the camera that I'm using to record this. Um, wow, my room is a mess. I'm down here. Probably need to put that. Anywho. Um, and it's just a great way to easily manage a security system. Uh, Again, because it's open source software, it's completely free. Uh, I've spent about $20 in parts to get some old camcorders up and running, and by the time you add all of the different security cameras, the IP, the various cables and everything, I've probably spent about uh, three, $400 on this system, but it gives a huge amount of coverage. Now, if you're away, you can also check this on your cell phone or a laptop or other system via the internet. Um, you use a password to log in so it's relatively secure um, and you can view previous events. So let's say we saw someone walk out in the kitchen. You can click on the day view. And it gives you a view that looks like this. Now this is a timeline down here and each of these red events is a time that the motion detection system was triggering. Now as you run the mouse over over different icons it'll show whatever was happening in this little view box. If you find one that you're interested in, like me going into the refrigerator, you can click it and have it expand here. If you decide that this is too small for you to look at, you can say scale, make it twice as large. So here you have me making a sandwich and talking with my brother. 
At this point, it functions just like a DVR. You can fast forward, skip ahead. You can jump to the next one, skip ahead, see what all is going on. I usually have my videos recorded at 3 to 5 frames per second, somewhere in there. Or, if you would like to view all of the day's events at once, you click down at the bottom here, and you get this pretty little view. And this shows you all of the different camera feeds and any motion that they detected, and then puts it to the top up here. You can also color code things. If you have any interest in this type of thing, I highly recommend giving it a look. It's Zone Minder. Do a Google search for it. You'll find lots of downloads, lots of support. It's a great system. Thanks for tuning in.